Hello everyone. If you are creating a budget for personal or business expenses or measuring any objects, then you know how important it is to round off numbers to simplify calculations and make it much more accurate. We can easily do this in Excel within a click. So this is Jihadrian Jim from Excel Demi and today we'll learn several methods on how to round off numbers in Excel. Before getting into the methods, let's talk about the data set a bit. Here we have different type of purchases items in column B and their prices in column C. If you look correctly, then you will see the prices are bit of decimal points. Now our target is to round off the prices in the column D. So without any further discussion, let's get started. In our first method, we want to use round function to round off numbers. To do that, we'll go to the D5 cell and insert the round function. The round function is used to round a number up to a specified number to decimal numbers. Now we have two parameters, num and number digits. At first, as number, we'll select C5 as our value, and next we want to get the two decimal number round off, so write down two as our number digits. If we click the enter button then we'll get our perfect result if we evaluate the result correctly then you'll see it has taken just two decimal numbers after the point from the c5 cell now drag down the formula to the very last cell to get the perfect result by using round function now we'll apply round of function to get the same job done to do that at first we'll go to the d5 cell and insert the round of function the round of function is used to take a certain decimal number and show the result by increasing 1. Here we have two parameters number and num digits. At first we'll select C5 as our number and after that we want to get one decimal round off so write down 1 as our number digits. If we click on the enter button then we'll get our perfect result. Let's compare it with the C cell you'll see that it has extracted the one decimal value from the point and not only that it has increased it by one from six to seven drag down the formula then we'll get our perfect result for every cell of the column d so that's how we can easily use round up function suppose we want to extract one decimal number again but this time we want to round it down by decreasing one we can easily do this by using the round on function at first we'll go to the d5 cell and insert the round down function in excel so the, the round down function has two parameters like the previous method number and num digits we'll select number as c5 and after that we want to get the result from one decimal we'll write down one as our value and now if we click the enter button then you can easily compare that now it has extracted only one decimal but it has decreased by one so let's copy down the formula to the very last cell to get the result for every cell and that's how we can easily use round up function to get the job done we can also round off numbers by applying mround function at first we'll go to the d5 cell and write down the m round function the m round function discards the decimal values and rounds the number by the closer integer it has again two parameters number and multiple so select as c5 as our number and go for one as our multiple as we are trying to get one decimal number if you click the enter button then you will see it has taken only the values of the integer and after the decimal it has 0 0.000 that means it takes the value but it returns the value as the closer integer now drag down the formula to use it to every cell so that's mrot function for you suppose you have a data set where you want to get the round off from each and every cell individually like in one cell you want to get the result from two digits in another cell you want to get the result from three decimals and in another case you want to get the result from one decimal in this case you need to use the floor function so at first we'll go to the e5 cell and write down the floor function the floor function is 
used to round a number down to the nearest multiple of a specified number. We have two parameters number and significance. At first, we'll select C5 as our numbers. Now, in the significance section, you'll see that we have a column called significance. That means you have to write down in which decimal number you want to get the result. You need to concern about that, that the points will be count just after decimal points. So, we'll write down the D5 as our significance. Now, you'll click the enter button, then you can see that it has shown nothing because it is an integer value and that means it is 2.0. That means it has 0, 0.0. So we have write down nothing in our decimal case. If we drag down the formula, then you will see in each and every case where the decimal number shows any significance 0.5, where it has shown 0.5, the same decimal number like the previous one. But in case where it has 4.0, that means it will show no decimal number after the point. But where it has 0 0.002, that means there are three points after the decimal, then it has shown the three decimal in the round of case. So that's floor function for you. We can also use ceiling function to get the same result like the previous method. To do that, we'll go to the E5 cell and write down the ceiling function. Ceiling function takes a certain value and round it up to the nearest multiple of the number. At first, we'll select C5 as our number and as significance, we'll select the D5 to get the result for certain decimal numbers. If we click on the enter button, then we're gonna get the same result but add up to a two numbers. If we drag down the formula to the very last cell, then you'll see in each and every case, the integer has increased by the values of the significance, but where there is decimal numbers, it has added to show the result. So that's ceiling function for you. Now we'll use int function to round off numbers. At first, we'll go to the D5 cell and insert the int function. It has only one parameter, which is the number C5. If we click on the enter button, then you'll see the formula gets the integer value of C5 disregarding the decimal value within it. Now click on the value and drag it down to the very last cell. Then you'll see in each case, you are only getting the integer values from the C column. So that's in function for you. Now we'll use odd and even function to round off numbers. At first, we'll go to the D5 cell and insert the odd function. The odd function basically takes the value of a certain cell and converts it to nearest odd integer. Like in this case, we'll select C5 as our number, but if we click the enter button, then the nearest odd number to 450 is 451. So it has converted it into a odd number. Now, if we drag down the formula to the very last cell, then it will show result for the whole column. After that, we can also do the same thing for the even function. So we'll write down the even function and again as number we'll select the C5 cell. But in this case, you'll see that it will show the result of the nearest integer of an even number. Now drag down the formula to the very last cell to get the result for the even function. That's how you can easily use odd and even functions to round off numbers. Suppose you have a data set where you want to get the decimal numbers like they are. You don't want to change them, decrease or increase them. So we'll use the trunk function for this valuation. We'll go to the D5 cell and insert the trunk function. The trunk function takes the value of a certain cell and discards the decimal number after two decimals. In this case, we'll select C5 as our number and as we are trying to get the two decimal numbers, so we'll write 2 in our num digits. If we click on the enter button, then you're going to see that it has taken two decimals after the point. Now, drag down the formula to the very last cell to get results for every cell. So that's trunk function for you. We can also do the same job by using math and trig option. At first, select the D5 cell and go to the formula tab. In the formula tab, in the function library, you will get math and trick function. In the math and trick function, you can easily select the round function. You have got round function argument. In this case, as number, you will select the C5 parameter. As 
we are trying to get the two decimal number so we'll write down two as our num digits if we click the ok then you'll see that you have got your two decimal round off in the d5 cell now drag down the formula to the very last cell to get the result for each and every cell in our new method we want to round numbers but without the formulas to do that we'll select the whole column b and copy it by using Ctrl plus C and paste it in the C column by using Ctrl plus V in the keyboard. We want to round off the numbers of column C. At first, we'll select the whole C column, go to the Home tab and select the number section and go for the decrease in the decimals. If we decrease in the decimals, then you'll see it will round up the values for you. You can also get your result by increasing decimals here. If you click on the increase decimals, then it will increase the decimal number for you. So that's how you can easily use increase or decrease decimals to round off numbers in Excel. Now we'll use format cells option to round off numbers. At first, we'll select the whole B column and copy it by Ctrl plus C in the keyboard. Now we'll paste it in the column C by using Ctrl plus V. At first, we'll select the whole C column and press Ctrl plus 1 in the keyboard to open the Format Cell dialog box. In the Format Cell dialog box, we can easily select the number as category and now we have the decimal places. You can easily select the decimal places as you have required but as we are trying to get the result from 2 decimal, so write down 2 and click OK. Then you will see you have got the round of numbers as you have wished. Now we'll use custom format to get the result. At first we'll again copy it by Ctrl plus C and paste it in the column C by using Ctrl plus V in the keyboard. We'll again select the whole C column and press Ctrl plus 1 in the keyboard to open the format cells dialog box. Here you can easily select the custom option to get the result as you have used. Now in the general type, you can easily get the result what you want. We will write the result 0, 0.00 as we are trying to get the result from two decimals. Now click OK to get result for every cell. So that's custom method for you. Now we want to round off the negative numbers by using round function. At first, we'll go to the C5 cell and write down the round function. Like the first method, we have two parameters, number and num digits. We'll select B5 as our number and then we're trying to get the result for two digits. So write down two as our parameter. So we'll click on the enter button to get our perfect negative number of rounding section. Now drag down the formula to the very last cell to get your rounding number for negative number in every cell. So that's it for today. You can use any of these methods accordingly or you can download the practice workbook from the link below. Hope this will help you. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please let us know in the comment section or you can have a glance at excelemy.com. Thanks for watching us. If you like this video, please consider subscribing for more content like this.